There we go. Uh -oh. Good morning. Just going to report on our third full day on the river, which is yesterday. I do these little reports the next day. By the time we get back from being cruising around, it's just too dark to do any filming. So I'll just cut to the chase for most people that want to know about the Pantanal. The Pantanal. Did we have uh, more Jaguar sightings? Yes, we did. We had uh, eight Jaguar sightings yesterday. I'd say five of those were quality sightings. And if you haven't watched one of the previous videos, what I call a quality sighting is the animal is out in the open. It may be just lying there on a riverbank, but it's in clear view and you can take good pictures of them or any other sort of movement as well, but you can see the animal in full. So a, a few of those um, that weren't quality, they're the ones where you see they're deep in the undergrowth because they're sheltering from these really hot days and you might you can see the flick the, of the tail or you can see enough of the, the rosettes in there to identify there's a jaguar under there or something something like that but i'd say five of those yesterday were, were quality sightings so total count now we're up to 23 jaguar sightings in three days so if you're wondering is the pantanal especially here during dry season it's august now then uh, yes it is <laughs> the place to go and see jaguars i can't see if you don't come during the dry season how you would not see quite a few jaguars you'd be surprised by the numbers one of our fellow guests here where we're staying they saw 10 the other day <laughs> including a, the incredible uh footage of one submarining under the water and swimming maybe 20 meters or something underwater and then popping up to catch the, this caiman so yeah, they're there. So, but the real stars of the show for me are the the giant river riders. I mean, they're so much, they're, they're so boisterous and fun-loving. They're usually hunting or playing or doing something, but they're real characters. So, they're probably my favourite. And, and along with the jaguars, the ones I wanted to see most. So giant river riders are, you know, just from afar from documentaries and just watching them interact. They're one of my very favorite animals, so sociable and everything else there. We saw a tapir, T-A-P-I-R, and from memory they are the largest land animal in South, in South America. So they can grow to, I believe, several hundred kilos, so even bigger than the, the biggest jaguars. The biggest male jaguars get up to about 160 kilos. We've seen a couple of uh, monster Jaguar so far, not sure. I'd say well over 100 kilos. What else do we see? Again, plenty of birds and picking up a, a uh, you know, one or two new bird species every day. There's certainly ones that we sight that are just too far, or there was this little orange one on a beach. We were 50 meters away. I'm talking like, you know, that big sort of thing. And I could see the iridescent orange on it, and it reminded me of a southern red bishop from southern Africa. Uh, it had almost like that sort of little black mask on and the rest was this beautiful orange colour. But I, from that distance, even with my gear, I couldn't get any sort of clear shot. So there's always something happening and you're normally gonna find anyone who's keen on birds, something new to see on uh, on every drive or maybe a better photo than the one you got before because I'm on a better perch, anything like that. So what do we have? Yeah, fun day. We saw a face-off. <laughs> we saw a face-off between a caiman and a, a giant river rider. <laughs> and we forgot to uh, press record on the GoPro. It was quite an interesting scene. We'll try not to do that one again. But uh, live, and, live and learn. It does happen in the excitement of the moment. So heading out again in about 30 minutes time I guess we leave around 7 o'clock it's about 6 15 6 20 now and I'm sure it's going to be another really good day on the river of course I would love to see one of these famous jaguar you know pouncing on a caiman but you just never know that's part of the fun of it isn't it you go there you have no idea what you're going to see on any particular day so enjoy the video and the photos from yesterday's interaction on the river with the uh, the wild here in the Pantanal. So talk to you soon. Bye for now.
Thank you.